Hey everybody, it's been forever. I'm gonna do this really, really fast tutorial. And basically I feel like I had to record this because I was looking over, all over YouTube and I couldn't find this. And I did find a tutorial on this, um, but it was more about Blender, blend shapes into Unity, and this is for Houdini. So if you've always wanna take your, your rigged character with blend shapes, if you have face blend shapes, and you wanna bring those over into Houdini, because I like to do cloth sim in Houdini and other little cool little things, simulations, but I wanna have the face, I still wanna have control over the face, and I wanna retarget some animation in Houdini, this is for you. So, all right, so we're gonna jump into here, Blender. And this is a character made with the human gen uh, add-on, super awesome. And the thing that I learned is basically if you try to export an FBX, if you go into here and you go uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, export, let's just, I know I'm not selecting the hierarchy, I'm just showing you. If you go down into geometry and this apply modifiers is the problem. So now you know. Basically, if you have a bunch of modifiers on your object, um, it will prevent your shape keys. And this is what kept hanging me up and I couldn't figure it out. So that's the that's the main problem. So first things, we have a character, uh, click on his body and just make sure I had to remove all of the particle stuff and their special masks they had. But we're gonna just, I got rid of all of them. Just keep your armature. So I'm gonna select him. You're gonna go up, file, export, FBX. Um, I'm gonna do selected objects only. Um, leave all of this, leave this, leave that on now that we have all those things and um, you don't have to do animation if you want to just bring over the rig. Hit export and now we're going to go over into Houdini. So here we are in Houdini. I've already built this uh, node chain, but I'll rebuild it if you guys don't know uh, Houdini very well. Very well. Uh, created a geo, go in here. So this is, we're just looking at this. I'm going to help you guys just see this. Okay. And then you would come down and do a bone deform. And this just attaches straight into here. So there you go, there's your character. And you can see it's all broken. How do we get these uh, shape keys out of here? Um, well, if you look over here, this, this is kind of what I did, is the first thing you need is you need something to uh, pull the blend shapes out. So we're gonna create a shape blend shape from channels and it's going to say hey i need the skeleton and i need the mesh input but i believe it's actually this one so if i click on this and you want to look let me just double check uh yeah that's correct go update from input hit update and wham you have all of those sliders in there and you can simply just turn them on and go like this and whatever ones you want to use so I'll show you why I'm turning those on in just a second. So come in here and then you need to then put it into character blend shapes. So we're going to come in here, character blend shape, plug it in. And I'll show you what we're going to do in just a second, a problem and then a solution. Okay. So let me just bring this up so you guys can see, and we're going to plug this into here. All right. So now we do have the blend shapes and you can see we have a couple of problems. So if you see, look at this. Okay, so that's what that blend shape does. And that moves it down. Oh, we're getting some issues. So the first thing you're gonna see is our skeleton is way off from the body and we don't like that. We can see that the face is not lined up. Well, what our one of our blend shapes did was move everyone, moved it down. So we're gonna just, if I come down to here and we look at, this is gonna move the shirt down and then we need to move the body down. But oh no, what is that? What is going on? Well, if you click in here, you can see that it's doing position and normal. I'm just gonna get rid of the normal. And there we go. And it's a female right now. And that was actually a blend shape as well. So we can scale that back to the male. Um, now you have access to all of your blend shapes and this is really, really nice. So yeah, you could just turn these on and we can zoom in and you'll see, yay, the brow is working and let's go down. I'll show you one issue and then a solution. So, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. let's go down to jaw open. So jaw is opening, but the teeth are staying. So now we have uh, another little thing that we have to correct. And I'll show you a quick solution. If we wanted to fix uh, the teeth moving, you can create a rig pose. I can plug this in 
And maybe we'll just look right here. So I can find the jawbone, head, jaw, and I'm going to move the teeth down. And now you can see, okay, that's great. But the problem is when I move the mouth back up, the teeth are going to stay. So what we can do is we can create a, it's called a skeleton blend. And we want to say, hey, from the original and from this pose, I want you to blend. So if I click on this, you'll see that, okay, that's blending my the, the jawbone. So the next thing we could do is we could parent this channel. We could, we could copy, come up here and we can go, I want to copy this parameter and I want to paste it into here as a reference. So now when I move this, the teeth are moving now. You see that? So I said, copy this parameter and paste it into here. So, th so the shape is driving uh, the teeth movement. And I technically could have done this the opposite way and have it be the bones, which actually makes more sense. But anyway, that's just a quick solution. So now you have your uh, shape bones in here and you have uh, all the things that you can control. Anyway, that's all I wanted to record. Just wanted to do this really quick. It was something that was uh, <laughs> frustrating because anyway, I'll have to do another video on a um, retargeting um, mocap and some other cool stuff in Houdini with Blender.